Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. Um, I'm zipping back and forth from Cleveland. Many of you know it's a, a family emergency, and it uh, looks like uh, this emergency will be coming to somewhat of a, a closer location to me soon. That means I'll be posting again. More on that later. What I wanted to do is talk real quick about the importance of voting for Gary Johnson this election. And I want to tell you why. Even if you don't agree with him very much, but you don't like Obama and Romney, and left to your own devices, even if you wouldn't vote for any of those three, vote for Johnson, because you've got nothing to lose. Unless a miracle happens, he's not going to win. And it means he has a greater likelihood of hitting 5%. And I was talking with uh, Giselle, many of you know her from the work on this show. Um, she had mentioned, uh, we, were, you know, we always talk politics all day, just in general, and it came up about Johnson, and this is something many people don't know, and this is why I'm saying this is more of a vote for the libertarian ideals of Ron Paul, of which Johnson is close, than it is about Johnson, and here's why. If he gets at least 5% of the national vote, he is looking at getting millions in something called federal matching funds. Now, I could go into great detail about what it is, but I don't have enough Red Bull to wake you all up when I'm done. So in a nutshell, what it is is a certain amount of money comes towards parties based on how, how well they did in the election. Gary Johnson has been able to do all of this on a half of a percent, which is what Bob Barr got last time. Well, due to the Republicans driving the Ron Paul element out of the Republican Party in what has to be the worst decision in a party history, rather than absorb them, they, they repelled them. And uh, let's face it, there are ways they could have chosen Romney <clears throat> without infuriating every single Ron Paul fan, but they did. And many of them aren't voting. However, many of them are voting for Johnson. And this is pushing Johnson way up. And the reason this matters is, could you imagine what the Libertarian Party can do in 2016 with millions of dollars? Fine, don't put whoever the candidate is in the debates. That's not going to change the fact that they can have ads on Prime, Time, ABC, CBS, they can have their ads up as much as the Democratic candidate and as much as the Republican candidate because they will put so much, they, I mean, they've never seen this kind of money. And, I mean, Ron Paul has opened the door. The, the candidate running for the Green Party, with all due respect to uh, one of my listeners who like her, thank you for listening, by the way, I think she's a nutcase. Um, she's not going to get a lot of votes. She's going to tax us into absolute oblivion. She seems like a nice enough person. I'm not going to trash talk her. But no, we don't need her. And she's not polling that well. She's only in 37 states, which I still think should be illegal. She should be in all 50. I don't want her anywhere near the White House, but she deserves to be in all 50. Um, one time. The Libertarians have one shot at this. And it happened because of the fractioning of the Ron Paul movement. Whatever you do, vote Gary Johnson. Get him to 5% and then bring it on in 2016. Ignore us all you want. We'll have money. You are listening to The Correct Views. Good night, God bless, and thank you for your prayers for my father.